Hello everybody, this is your local average Red Hulk1933 coming to you with something different today. Uh, let's see. This Saturday we have Johnny. I kind of met Johnny with, uh, Dustin Orbit stream uh, a couple weeks ago during his Regerant podcast. And that was just a good old fucking time I decided to bring Johnny on. So... Johnny, 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 how are you doing today? I'm good. Apparently, apparently just waking up, but not. <laughs> but I look like it. Hey, we all have those times, if you know what I mean. I have them often. That's gotta be brutal. It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, Johnny, so, first sub question. Well, I'm gonna ask you a set of questions. I'm not even too sure how many more. Yeah. It's kind of one of those, see how long I can make it, you know, make it to make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so what brought you to Twitch or streaming? Well, you cut out again. Technology oh, is my absolute, yeah. Um, a weird series of events, honestly. Uh, like, I was in... I don't know, some other communities, but there was this one specific one that was on uh, YouTube at the time, though. Um, a couple of Australian actors from, like, Spartacus, the show, who started a thing out on Retro Replay, which I was already watching with, uh, at the time it was Nolan North and, uh, uh, fucking shit, what's his ass's name? Uh, but yeah, then, um, uh, anyway, that, they started this new thing to, like, get good or whatever, and it was with, um, Liam and Todd, and, like, I worked on there as I was working and stuff, though, but then, uh, my work kind of changed, and I had time to, like, interact more, and I met some people. Okay. Homie in the chat's one of them, and, uh, a couple of those other people were streamers, and I, we ended up playing a lot of stuff together, I don't know, and people were like, oh, you should do that, blah, blah, and I was like, yeah, that'd be cool, and I was getting a PC kind of together and stuff, and I was like, alright, and I kind of just started doing it, and it's kind of just been momentum since I started, and it was like, whoa, okay, I do this now. Okay, so what was your very first PC then? My very first, dude. That's be well, way before you're even born. <laughs> Long okay, time ago. Um, I was running for DOS. streaming. What was your very first PC that you're using for streaming? For I'm people? on it right now, dude. Okay. I'm not, I'm not upgrading and stuff till I'm, I'm after I have to do a big move anyway, and it's not. It's it's a dumpster fire like I am. That's what my my PC is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, our voices are pretty low? Okay. Chris said our voices are low. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, doing those right now as we speak, just adjusting a whole bunch of things. Yeah, dude, it's all trial and error, man. It's not a real yeah. stream if it's not, like, you know, adjusting things and technology, fighting back the entire time. Oh, believe me, it's just technology. Technology's been my biggest fan since 2005. <laughs> Dang. That's... You're a lot younger than me. I was gonna say, that's like... I was in high school then, man. Well, as I was born in 2001, so I'm like... Three. Yeah. <laughs> to be precise, three days after 9-11, so... Dang. Yeah. That's something to carry around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, hi, everybody's my birthday. It's like, it, wasn't your birthday supposed to be three days ago? I'm like, no, it's... <laughs> oh, shit. That's a thing. See, my I thought, yeah, mine lands with, on Easter, like, every few years, like, and... Or that they'll share a day because it just, you know, meanders or whatever. Easter does, not my birthday. Okay. But, like, that would be... And I had a friend whose birthday's on Halloween and stuff. But that, though... If, imagine sharing it with 9-11. That would be rough. I, I could only imagine. <laughs> I never thought of that before. <laughs> Damn. Um. So, do you have any sort of end goals on how you want your Twitch channel to go to? Dude, I don't know what my goal's been this whole time. I was like, I was just like, I'm gonna just start doing this, I guess. And then the fuckery magnet started and all the, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know what to do with my hands most of the time. I'm like, hold <laughs> <on."> <laughs> I, I wasn't getting what I was saying. I was saying earlier to you about winging it. And so I, I yep, I'm here. I, I want it to go to the fucking moon. I want to keep doing this shit forever. Okay. And like make it actually tenable. That'd be cool. Hey, like, that'd be pretty cool. But like... At the moment, like, I feel like, I mean, I just passed my year anniversary, and I feel like I'm doing pretty fucking good considering, but, like, it's been, a, and it's afforded me a lot of opportunities and stuff, so that's cool. 
I would like more of that. I would like more fuckery and more people about fuckery and just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just winging it and it working out well still. <laughs> I think we're all winging it at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially with uh, the whole two years between COVID, it's like that kind of, I think, brought more Twitch streamers onto the oh, yeah. whole entire thing. It's because I remember back when it was like, okay, you have your well known Twitch streamers and you have your underdogs. And I feel like that you kind of came from that underdog aspect yeah. of just everything. And here we are, like, yeah. from COVID, yeah. we're streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, COVID like changed what my, how my work was, basically. And then, um, so I had time suddenly to like interact on Saturdays with that community and I, I wouldn't like I interacted a bit but not like I was and I met pe all the people who are like my best friends now and like the foundation of my community and it's just grown from there and like it's yeah I know a lot of people are in that boat I think that 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 stupid pandemic opened a lot of doors for people though because Almost of that definitely. so all right so I see that you have played split gate I've seen that you played a whole bunch of these other games what has to be your absolute number one favorite game that you've played on stream and why? On stream. Okay, this I was gonna say that's hard, but um excuse me. On stream, um you know, I already what? know what I'm you're gonna, gonna say go about off. Well, off stream, but I wanna mainly focus on, on Yeah, stream. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I was like, ooh, because I well that's way easier to answer is what I mean, because I would have been like, Oh shit, people ask me favorite of something. I'm like always oh, like but no, for that, I can answer, and it's gonna, it's gonna throw people, I don't care, because it was so fun, whatever. Uh, only Cans, Thirst State. That was, that was the best game I played on stream, I think. What was it? Oh, only? Cans. Only Cans. It's called Only Cans. <laughs> Thirst Date. And it is fucking, you, you take pictures, uh, you, it's like, it's safe to stream, but they're soda cans. It's like this made-up soda brand. It's a free game on Steam. I'm not even kidding. And you take lewd pictures of these soda cans, and they all have, like, profiles and personalities, and you're, like, taking... It's like a timing game, you know? Oh like, you have to gosh. click when the slider goes by. But all the lore and the the, the sounds and the stuff they make are so... It was mad, yeah. It, it was, like... <laughs> that game was just all content. Like, I, I found out about the night before... From on ghost stream he was like oh dude you haven't played this holy crap and i was like all right so i went and downloaded it and i did it on stream and i didn't see oh we'll see what it's like it says it's safe to stream it i that was <laughs> it was that was fun as heck dude i mean that was like a one-off thing you know it's like but that that was probably my favorite honestly that was stupid <laughs> oh gosh that sounds extremely interesting i've never thought about hearing a game that involved cans of soda Blue never. cans of soda. Oh, yep. okay. So it's I just never expect that out of anything. Nope. Who would? That's why I, when I heard about it, Ghost was like, "Yeah, no, you take like lewd photographs of cans of soda and they have personalities." And so I was like, "What? I'm in. I'm in. I'm already downloading it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in." <laughs> I so guess good. the main thing that um, threw me off was you said that it's all about like personality. I'm like, okay, then. I've never heard of a can having a personality. Yeah. It's they have like written they've written like every one you go into it's like oh that's this flavor of soda and it's all it's it's bubbly and doesn't have time for anybody's shit you know kind of thing <laughs> and, like it stinks it's better than you stuff like that or like oh this one's shy and and all kawaii and stuff you know it's like what the fuck i it's could so only good. imagine that this game would probably have been made like in covid like that just sounds like exactly what we had to deal with in covid like you had yeah shy people you had like the fizzy people who were like all about like uh oh, masks Dude, that's just life, though, is, like, that the people click up, you know? But it's, like, the, your stereotypes of things. It's funny, too, because, like, oh, the yeah, diet definitely. soda from the 80s it was, like, <laughs> all, like, it was all, you know, like, like a uh, clueless movie kind of thing. Like, like yeah, it was it was really, it was hilarious. Um, plus, there's a whole extension on it, too, of, like, fan content that's inspired by stuff people did on Twitter. Because I got to this kind of late, but, like, that game, like, yeah, it was a big, you know, viral thing for a second, I guess. And people, like you know they made up but like people wrote fanfic about the different cans and then they made new flavors and there's a whole extension oh, for it and it's all free on steam yeah i it's worth if you want to i don't know kill some weird time i mean it's uh well every day is weird time so <laughs> mm -hmm. i oh, suggest gosh. you check it out for sure i got oh. a bunch of new viewers out of it too people were like looking up that game because they like watching people play because it's so freaking weird <laughs> <laughs> i can only imagine this is just sound so weird it's I would not even expect it at all. Yeah, I'm about the weird. Okay, now going off a little bit of the yes, 
not streaming at all. Like, is there... I'm not sure if you want me to ask, but, like, what do you do, like, what, off stream? Like, I know a lot of people do, like, uh, they work over in retail. Um, they are just a or million dollar person that just lays back and does nothing. It's like, it shows that. Um, I, right now, my, I, my day job is I freelance stuff. Like, I do commissions, um, art stuff, graphic stuff. But, okay. And that's because, so, but up till I've done a bunch of, jobs i've worked since i was 14 i done mo the majority of it was i was in uh food service in front of house and i did line cooking and kitchen management and stuff all that in big kitchens and stuff and then also um i did uh personal support working for like um people with uh different abilities and stuff and kids on okay. asd stuff because i am too and um then i've also farmed i was a farmer for a long time jeez <laughs> And, uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. And I was doing the, um, support care providing and stuff up to, into COVID in, like, October of, of 2020, I think. And oh, then, geez. um, I had to find a new, uh, client during that. And I was like, I, I'm immune compromised. I'm gonna just not, for right now, I'm good for a bit. And I ended up a few months later starting to do this. And I was like, okay. And I had a little bit to get by on, kind of. And I was like, well, okay, we'll do that. And then since then, I've just been kind of winging it as i do but yeah i'm getting back into maybe opening twitter commissions again soon and stuff okay. so so it's a grind i'm poor <laughs> <laughs> so were you like kind of a digital designer or is it kind of just like yeah kind of yeah i i mean i like doing pen and paper stuff but that's the thing i've always taken to the digital uh aspect more like when i okay because i'm old i'm i'm 32 all right i'm old as hell guys i <laughs> Uh, when I was in high school, way back in the day, like my first year of high school, like we were switching from, we had you know, the um, dark room and film cameras and all that stuff and actually pasting up like in publications, newspaper, like pasting, paste up, you you actually, you know, paste all the pieces and articles and, and the page design together, you know, and, and lay out a thing. And then that's what gets given to the printers and stuff. But then okay. we were moving, we got, we got creative, we got Adobe uh, Creative Suite mm -hmm. and like we got a CMYK roll, like roll printer and like we got all this digital stuff. We got a bunch of IMAX in the school, like all this, you know, so we had like, um, all of that technology all of a sudden. So I, it was very new then okay. and I learned immediately coming up with that. So like, I was like, oh, this is cool. And like started messing around with all of it and figuring out like how Photoshop's ins and outs works and like. Um, page maker and in design and stuff. I remember making like um like old school like rough flash animations and stuff and like image ready. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> the old internet stuff, like the fifty five, you know, kind of group X stuff, like Badger stuff, old 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 stuff. Oh like, gosh. And I I but I figured out like okay, photo manipulation, sure, or like retouching and stuff. I was doing that for people and but, I mean. I got and I got eventually got a little Wacom drawing tablet, but first, I mean, I used to make like from scratch, like draw with a mouse and using paths and stuff, like, like plotting. Oh, it's a is, whole that thing. That's cool. I'm old as hell. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I got into that though, and then uh, yeah, the publications. Uh, our our teacher for that, Mr. Whitson, badass mofo of like one of the <laughs> teachers I ever like, yeah, that ever is worth anything in that high school and um. He was like, I'm making a new editing position now uh, because, yeah, like, is it a photo editor? You know, all this chain of command yeah. stuff. But it was like, I'm making a, a whatever, crap, digital content or something like that and gave me that. And it's like, boom, because it was like, you know the most of all, what anybody's doing with any of this stuff and we're, we need it. So, like, and I ended up, like, I took a, because nobody wanted me in their classes and I ended up dropping it anyway, but I took an online class, like, and I got my Adobe certification and stuff and oh, wow. was like all about it. Yeah, it's well, it's diff different now and you got to re-up it always. But cool. yeah, I got it really into that. And then I eventually got a Wacom tablet and was like, oh, cool. You can plug it in, little graphics tablets and a screen or anything, draw into the computer. And, you okay. know, it was uh, it was really cool. I don't know. I got sucked into that and kind of kept going with it because, yeah. But that, that I, I, I make physical stuff on occasion. I do a lot of mixed media stuff like IRL, though, or like... I don't know. I make a lot of post-it doodles and stuff. I paint from here, and, here and there, from time to time, randomly, maybe. But my sister is a, a like a traditional media like artist who's really good and stuff too. And I kind of like 
I could draw, you know, but I was never like, okay, that, like, and it wasn't until I had that medium sort of a digital stuff, I was like, ooh, okay. yeah, about it. <laughs> so, since you do, like, a whole bunch of digital stuff, so since mm -hmm. I can, now I can call you a digital content creator, um, <laughs> have you ever thought of, like, doing photography and then doing any sort of modification now, or it's just kind of just strictly on the computer, like, okay, I can just do this, put this into this, and kind of call it done. I mean, if I had if I had the drive and the resources and stuff, I would be like, it would be cool to do like be taking pictures and then editing it myself because I did that like to begin with a lot with photo manipulation and stuff like. Okay. And I learned some of the basics of that with like actual physical film and not digital stuff like where you're like overexposing things, you know, long exposure and you know splicing stuff when you're uh, developing pictures and stuff kind well, of. But I, I kind of know about that because I was actually my senior year of high school. I was completely doing that because i was interested in them okay. like okay so i'm going to do oh, this and it's like i learned all about that on the between the photo paper glossy mm -hmm. not glossy i'm like all right so i can do this like here i am way ahead of the class i'm like i'm completely taking a lot more photos than everybody i was like getting i don't even remember how many photos i was taking but it was a lot and it was all really cool photos <laughs> I'm like, I wish I could kind of get back into that, but it's with time and everything, it's just... Yeah, right? And, like, well, and also, like, if you're going to do actual film, you need, yeah, to, you need a space for, even as a closet, dark room, you need to get all the stuff for it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's got to be absolute 100% pitch black, and, like, anywhere mm. in my house is nowhere pitch black. The, you have the to find a, bit... mm, tape off a closet. I know I have <laughs> friends who had, like, a, they had, like, a under the stairs closet and stuff after okay. I, I like moved up to Portland and they like uh, taped like cardboard to the bottom of the door so like it was like a little drag cover thing you know what? so when they close it okay. and they had the red bulb in there and stuff they put up a little lamp because there's no light in there so they like put a little lamp in the corner with a red bulb and they had like cause, <laughs> yeah and it worked it was tiny and it, but it worked you know hey sometimes <laughs> we do what Something. we gotta do so it's mm -hmm. okay yeah, I haven't shot film in forever but Oh, yeah, God. it's fun. If I, if I could do that, I'd want to do it again. Dude. It was just so much fun, especially when you get to fully develop it. That's just awesome. Yeah, I say stick with it. Dude, if, yeah, if you get inspired with something, like, try to, yeah, make it work out, dude, because that's a skill, like, down the road, you'll get older, and you'll be like, man, I wish I kept up with that. I have a yeah. lot of those, so, like, if you feel it, like, get into it, dude. Do it. Take pictures. Okay, so now that we've kind of talked about that, um, back on to gaming. Now, I know yeah. it's back into Retro Rants podcast, episode mm -hmm. one. You had mentioned that the game that you had wanted to be remastered would be Shinobi 3, which is now mm -hmm. available on the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. So, would you. Is that your all time favorite game or from whenever you started up to now, or is that. See, this is a hard, hard thing with all-time favorites for me. I feel like, like those are, um, like fluid. You know, what I mean, like stuff doesn't like necessarily stay like a thing. But you have those things that stick with you forever. It's like why Final Fantasy. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. I like had a connection with it first. That's there, even if there's others I like parts of. That I have that. Shinobi Three. Like, I mean, from when I started, like, I mean, we got that a bit later, honestly. Like, I, I mean, I played. Uh, let's see. I, the original Shinobi, which I have still too, like that, I played the crap out of. Um, played a lot, and I don't know what my favorite favorite would have been, but I guess when we had the Genesis, we got the Genesis, and I had Sonic Two, like that. Sonic Two and Shinobi Three, I played like the, those were like my jams. I was like, you know, fangirly over. Um, and like, Toe Jam and Earl probably eventually, but okay. But yeah, Shino the Shinobi series is just is wicked, awesome. I don't know, I love it. But I, yeah, and the Sonic games. I mean, there's so many, and like, well, Altered Beast and Golden Axe and all that, like, Golden Axe Warrior, but yeah, all that. Like, I, I don't know. I have, I have like reasons why a lot of them could all be my favorites, <laughs> but yeah. Which ones um, state those reasons, or is it kind of like a lengthy well, story? Well, like, each game, like, has, yeah, it's a long story because, like, each game has, like, some reason why I'm, like, really connected to, I feel like, because I just, I gamed a, a crap ton when i was a kid and just like so it's all like I've all personal reasons that kind of give you flashbacks from your childhood 
I guess, or it's like the like in the moment of doing them, it was like you know, you know what, my, like when a game comes out, and you're like super, you're like oh dang, and you get oh, super yeah. at it, whether you're excited or not, and you're like that that sticks with you in your brain forever. Then after that, it's like that kind of stuff, like oh, oh yeah. yeah, first experience, and you get sucked into it, you know. And I had a lot of those because like I like, used out. gaming to escape a lot of shit too, and like I got I let myself get sucked into a lot of games. So like I don't know, I have connections with a lot of them, honestly, but. But yeah, Shinobi 3, uh, I think, needs like a full-on like a redo, Electric Boogaloo Part 2 kind of thing of <laughs> a new a new era of Shinobi games would be cool, like with okay. modern stuff, for sure. Okay, so kind of, so would you keep it the same style that it is now, or would you kind of want it to be more like modern pixel resolution? Um, I, think, hmm. I think it would be really cool to see it be like yeah made as things are now like but with the shinobi story and stuff you know and the, the kind of the gameplay you know basically because i think they could add you know there's so much more you can do it's not this little you know cartridge it's scaling bits and stuff you know you have all this <laughs> space like, they could make like a a shinobi game you know and it's still, it's basically this i mean hell you can make a big you know th like dimensional space open world thing but i think they could just make a, a wicked you know semi-linear like to solve the side scrolly aspects of it like you know and it would okay. still also that's the thing it'd be really cool still in the pixel art too like and i see i play a lot of indie games and i see a lot of that returning too and because there's a um a quaint aspect to all that stuff too and okay. it's like relatable i either way i'd be happy i just think that they should bring it back like reboot the whole thing and it would be cool to see it like in a new i know a lot of people hate on the shit and they're like don't change this thing I like, don't, you know, whatever. But it'd be cool to see it interpreted oh, most by definitely. today's standards, like, and w how that would be done. And if it is, yeah, just a totally different kind of game, like, whatever, it'd still be cool. So, kind of, you would want it to be a little bit like um, the new version of Spyro. That's, like, the only kind of thing I can semi-compare it to. Like, yeah, I mean, they did the, the remaster Spyro, of Spyro, but then they changed some things. Spyro, the stuff they chose to change was, yeah. I mean, I love because I love Spyro. I have all those my Who original copies. Love Spyro. Too. Yeah, right. But like the stuff they chose to change, and that was weird. Like they they over stylized like a lot of the like characters you interact with in different world hubs and stuff. Yeah. Like to be really chibi ish, and then they also like changed some voices, and they took away some of the really good jokes and humor that was, like, written into stuff. <laughs> oh, and it was, I remember like, that. <laughs> and they made it easier some, too. Like, I remember trying to nail oh. some of those glides from the first one to get, like, 100%, and they were fucking impossible. It was, like, at, like, multiple days of trying kind of thing to get some of those, and, like, now it's, like, you know, kind of kid-gloved, but it was still, it was a deep, I mean, it's better than a lot of reboots happen, but it was, yeah, there was some weirdness in there with that, for sure. Okay. I don't know. So now that we're kind of talking about like Shinobi, which I believe was released on PlayStation, correct? Shinobi? No, that's a Sega. Sega. Shinobi was Sega Master System. Okay. Master System, and then Genesis was what the third one was on. Okay. Um. um so then, mm -hmm. did you have a favorite console or? Um. Yeah. I mean, like, I. So that's hard because it's like, okay, cons. Okay, of like all of them, or like. If you each actually era of them, or had what? To like, choose one favorite console out of console. every single one Ooh. that has been made all the way from the yeah. i guess the nes up to the original xbox oh okay up to original xbox okay um i wasn't gonna say playstation 2 but i'm like it's that yeah, that's a whole other yeah yeah that's completely um, different i would pick the playstation Original PlayStation. Ain't it's really hard because I'd want to go Sega, but uh, yes, because I mean I got when that sucker came out. Dude, I got the, dude, that has so there's so many, like that opened up this whole new aspect of gaming. Like I remember the concept of analog sticks breaking my brain. <laughs> it's like joystick, arcade sticks, like sure, but like I was like what, like playing. I mean Spyro and stuff. It was like oh, you can move this way or with the D-pad. I was like what, and then like the camera. I was like huh. Okay, and I mean, eventually you get down the road, and it's like, whoa! Like with FPS, sh like first-person shooters first happening, and you're like, what? I this just strafes me. That turns, oh, like that broke a <laughs> bunch of our brains as we were like, what? um. But yeah, no, you have 
PlayStation, you have freaking Cool Borders, you have uh, uh, 1080, you have freaking Tony Hawk, you have all that, you have Medieval, which is great, and the second one of those I think was on there too. You've got Roll Cage, which is super underrated, nobody ever knows about, but it's great. You got a lot of good fucking games on that. Well, and Spyro, obviously. Also on, uh, I gotta remember, but I think Roll Cage is available on Xbox. I don't think so. There's a, a browser emulator of it now, it's about it, it's a dead game. More or less. Last I knew, if it is on X, but it was a PlayStation original game. But well, you know how uh, it is. Sometimes, like it's when they say, yeah, okay, I mean, we're going to have it for PlayStation exclusive." Like later on, like, "Hey, we're not going to release it on." Oh Microsoft. yeah, yeah. And it's just but Xbox. Yeah, it didn't come out for another, I mean, ten years or something almost after that PlayStation did. So I mean, roughly around the original Xbox was when the PS2 was happening. So, more yeah. Or less, so. Mm -hmm. so here's my question. But yeah. Um, so, do you mm. think they kind of stole from Nintendo a little bit with Nintendo's N uh, the N64 controller? Because that's got also analog on it, too. No, not at all, because they... With, with PlayStation, yeah. Your controller's a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, do you remember how to properly hold a Nintendo 64? Yes. How do you yes, but hold it? everybody holds them however they want to is the point, though. Yeah, I remember people <laughs> holding it on both sides and stretching their fingers. Down. I've got tiny hands. I never did that. But I also remember them having to do a whole thing because of doing Mario Party and everybody doing that and breaking their hands and then getting sued. And they were like, okay. So they had to put a thing in there to be like, listen, don't hurt yourself playing this. <laughs> but I will say the GameCube controllers are like, the, the, that's where it's at. And I still like, you know, I'm... That's why with the Switch and stuff, they made the GameCube style like controllers for Smash yeah. and stuff like that. I play Smash with people, I'm still like, GameCube controller. Always have been. <laughs> Since through Wii, everything, when that, yeah, through Brawl, all that, like, yeah. Uh, I haven't been as privileged to have as many, like, N Nintendo consoles either, because we grew up in a Sega house. My cousin had Nintendo, a friend of mine did, and I was always like, yeah. as soon as I was making my own money, I went and was like, I'm going to get some Nintendo stuff, but. Yeah. Okay. Dragon, that's absolutely true that it was made for aliens by aliens. <laughs> aliens, by aliens. Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, you're the, that you're supposed... Well, it's also one of those... It's almost made better... Uh, I forget what this is called, but like if you top down on a controller instead... Yeah. To, like, keyboard, it's better like that. I'd like put it on the ground for some stuff, like some stuff, and just do it that way. And you push your thumbs in the middle and do that thing. Yeah. But, but it's like, I remember yeah. like with the controller, like instead of like having... This small little compact controller from the N64 is like having three spots and like here I am trying to like a regular controller trying to reach all the way over just to be able yep, to that's go what I'm to saying, the yeah. little analog I'm like eh. I had friends that did that and I was like bro just grab the other one and they were like <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we didn't know how to do it it's like what is that like sorcery nobody knows how to do it yeah nobody knew how to do it nobody knew what they were doing with that it was what what plus even yeah then you're the back but it's yeah the whole thing was <laughs> i don't even want to like even talk about the n64 because i just had so many problems with it it wasn't even remotely funny yeah i mean to well, be like, fair, it's kind of um speech from the game boy where you had like you had a problem with the cartridge yeah well, cartridges, all the cartridges need to have batteries in them, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we didn't have saving, like, saving, saving, so it's like, like, I had a, a, I had a Ruby cartridge, a GBA cartridge I played in my DS and stuff, and, uh, yeah, so the battery dies, you need a, a key to open the cartridge and change, it's like a little watch battery, but. Yeah. That's what, that's what keeps track of the time and saves your games on the cartridge, so, like, you couldn't do the time to Pokemon events, like, leg you know, get some of the legendary stuff like that, because they only appear at a certain time and a certain day, you know, stuff like that, because yeah. there's a calendar in it. And that's how a lot of games used to save stuff. If they did, you'd be like, ooh, they're saving on this game with old consoles and stuff, too. And it was like, because it's in the cartridge, but then those die eventually. Yeah. And you have to be able to get in there and do that, and it fucks up a bunch of other things otherwise, so. Yeah. Uh, there was a question I was going to ask, but I can't remember. Because I saw Dragon post though, that she ne they never played that in the Nintendo 64. So I guess yeah. it's a good thing for you that you never played it because it was a hassle. It was just like this big old monstrosity controller. It's like you trying to either hold it like a regular controller or as Johnny was saying, hold one hand with the middle and one hand on the outer. I'm like, you have to move out to yeah, yeah. do all the other stuff. 
But I, yeah, but there's a lot of good stuff with the N64, though. So, I mean, that's like, and maybe it's just because I'm older and I'm thinking of that. But, like, I mean, you had GoldenEye, Star Fox 64 is amazing. Like, there's that a lot of really good bad. things N64 did, though. But it was, like, different. People go, oh, that, that's the best console. It's way better in place. It was doing so much more. Okay, yeah, like, so they had, like, I don't know, doubled a little bit. I think it was, like, what? How many more bits was it? The graphics in that. And then the store, I mean, 64 bits, obviously, but the graphics uh, card in it. Anyway, as opposed to PlayStation, but it's like PlayStation had its separate storage, all this stuff that was easy oh, yeah. way thing to save stuff. Memory cards held more. Also, that controller was way more like universal and versatile. Yeah. And like keeping discs as opposed to cartridges was yeah. like. It was 10 times that, more. That's easier. a gimme. So, I mean, that's why I'm like. I don't care. Bias aside, like it did more efficiently, even though yeah, people are like, but sixty four could do more. Yeah, but they didn't do more with what they could do. Is the that problem? Is, that's actually very very true. And I'm not trying to shit on anything. I'm just saying that's it, if you look at it on paper, like the PlayStation absolutely achieved a lot more and did uh, did a lot better between those two. Because it doesn't matter if you have a big fucker engine, all right, and you have a supercharger and stuff, but you only ever drive down to the corner store and back, and you never run the thing. Then like, what's the point? You know. It's kind of like that. Like, the 64 wasn't really using its capability, especially when they give you a controller that kind of hinders a lot of people's capability with it. So. Oh, yeah. But definitely. there were a lot of great things that happened on 64, though. And, like, I mean, and people's memories of party games and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, there's that. You know, everything has something that it did. But Yeah. That yeah. is absolutely very true. Like, I remember playing, uh, it was Super Mario on the Nintendo 64 like, where you could completely, mm -hmm. uh, even on the startup page, you, like, completely screw with Mario. Like, you could, like, grab his nose and completely go, like, you yeah. know, bound corner to grab the screen. Face. Yeah. Yep. That's one thing I yeah, would always do before I even push start. Because it's like, all right, it's like, everybody knows it's like a little ritual that you do. Like, you know, screw with Mario a little bit, just to, mm -hmm. like, all right, let's do this. And let's, see here. let's see go, and it's like, you just start going. Yep. I still have, uh, it was Mario 64 on my DS. I have the DS one of it. And I love it because, yeah, the stylus, you can just really fuck his face up when you're. <laughs> and the whole bottom screen, the stylus screen is like his face doing that, like in the beginning and stuff. So you can just, you in can between just games, like starting yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, That's pretty cool. And also, yeah, I remember like with that being like, whoa, too. Because, yeah, that's another one of those games, though, just like Spyro, Mario 64, where we were like, dimensionality oh god like, <laughs> what is this what it, we could just go this what <laughs> like it <laughs> broke all of our brains because we all came up with freaking linear 2d like you know 16-bit stuff there's like eh, things that i mean i was playing stuff on dos and everything text adventures or little you know you have boop 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 oh, yeah. things around i mean it's like and our games too is side scrolling everything's linear or somewhere or it's or it's straight it's it's a uh illusion focal point thing yeah. you know like you that stuff of just like whoa whoa i can all these spaces like and yeah blew our minds and then i go back now and i'm like yeah it's still pretty chunky and linear because there's still paths underneath all that but it's it felt you know it's it's still opened up a whole world of a thing for sure oh, it's most interesting definitely. seeing people get back to all the side scrolly stuff now with like indie titles and like a lot of bigger titles too like kind of taking that and and like uh optimizing and like building upon it though and like what we can do now in that format still because people are like well we gotta stay away from that because that's old it's like no dude people are doing some cool cool stuff that's still side that, scrolling that's very like. true so now that we're on the topic of nintendo which i wasn't even trying to get to tonight but here we are on the topic of nintendo here we are um do you think that from the nintendo 64 to the nintendo ds was a downgrade because i've kind of heard myths like they say no. it is a downgrade because they... The they, DS? Yes. The DS is handheld, you mean? So the 64 yes. is a home console, though. The, yes. So. I'm talking, like, they... They're two different things. How do you even compare them? Like? Well, I heard that it's like they started to compare it. Because, like, it's completely in the Nintendo family. Like, it's... I, I don't know. It's like they went from Nintendo 64 yeah, totally. when they went to, like, analog with the... And then they went back to the regular D-pad. So would you say oh, that? Oh, wait. Well, yeah, but that's a handheld thing. It wouldn't have a analog like stick typically anyway. Like I the, mean, I know now the Nintendo 3DS has a little like 
Yeah, they, they put that in there. Yeah, so yeah. which is making me. I don't think it's like, a downgrade though at all. I mean, I, that just makes more sense. It's something so it's portable and it's a D-pad and that's all you really needed. So it made sense. I don't think they're yeah, that's weird. People think that, huh? That's... I mean, no offense, you do. It just that's bizarre because it's like yeah, it's a portable gaming system. It it's fine if it doesn't have a <laughs> all the bells and whistles like and it yeah and it still it had bumpers on it and stuff still yeah. was like wow. So, it had more than most portable things ever had before that. So. Yeah, and I wasn't even expecting Art. for the Nintendo DS to be able to have those bumpers, because with it being so small, compact. Yeah. Yeah, it was just the little corners of where it folds back over there. Yeah. I think a lot of games ported really well into the DS as well. Like, I'm, I like playing, like, Resident Evil, the first one, like, on there. That was really cool. I've I did never that, played like, early the on. first one. Oh, it's it's a good so playing the first one without it being re reboot you know master but they did a, yeah. the port to DS though and so it's like the classic Resident Evil one you can turn green blood on all that stuff and like I think it, it translates well because you know as we grow and the stuff we can do with technology grows like your scope grows and then you're like oh this seems mm, now and but like playing Final Fantasy ports and like uh and 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 uh, Resident Evil and stuff, and like, or some of the old Metroids and stuff on DS, it, it worked as things were growing, like scaling it into something like that, like this is a handheld game, like works with people's brains a lot better, I feel like oh, for yeah. what the capability is now. And I like playing, I'm like, cool, opposed to like, fire up a console, do a whole thing, which I still will do, but like, it's, it feels nice on a DS, honestly. I loved playing Resident Evil one on DS. That was, that was dope. And the okay. Final Fantasy I played on there too. I think that was cool. Yeah, I don't, I'm fine with the D-pad. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, like, I've never even played... I saw my DS Lite. <laughs> I still have my Nintendo DS, I just don't know where it is at the moment. Mm. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I've never really played uh, Final Fantasy, I've never really played uh, Resident Evil, because I'm not too big of a hard game mm. person, so I'm like, alright, yeah. jump scare, I'm gonna overreact. He's like, yeah. Hey, I'm not sure if you're on for my stream. Like I was streaming uh, Poppy Playtime, mm -hmm. and I completely just flipped out because I wasn't even expecting him to just walk out with his long freaking arms. Like yeah, you're like holy shit! Like that one got me too. I don't get <laughs> scared typically, but that that one got me. There's a good video of that uh, short on my <laughs> channel too of that happening. Where I, I like getting jump scared, and I never do. I'm a too dead inside. Stuff rarely scares me, so when it does, I'm like all for it. Like I'm about <laughs> it. Um, yeah, Resident. If you, I, know that, I mean, I know you like shooters too. Though. I would play Resident Evil Four if I were you, though, because like that's the easy one to jump into without all the lore and stuff necessarily. And that's got, it's like, there's still the scary aspect, but it's more like a butthole puckering, like tension, like oh, I just gotta kill this thing or it's gonna kill me. You know yeah. that that more and like puzzles and shooting and stuff and like involved than like as much of the the scare because i think the previous ones too were like a lot of the jumpy scares were more because things were more linear and like closed in that like when stuff happens like you know it's a different kind of tension i feel like resident Evil 4 got the it was technology had de uh, evolved enough at that point to give you more immersion of it but and it but it also like it's uh a lot more of it's like the the shooty aspect of panicky shooty stuff instead of just like being linear overwhelmed <laughs> with stuff in a space so okay but yeah but it's, it's cool too because you can keep playing resident evil 4 through and unlock more stuff like eventually you can do infinite ammo you can get armor to put ashley in so you don't have to worry about her bitch ass getting eaten by zombies <laughs> she can just sit, sit in a suit of armor and she'll be like leon help and you can just leave her there and the zombies are all like wow and they can't mess with her and they just clomp up there and you can just blast them all it's fun <laughs> you can do a bunch of playthroughs with it it's oh man yeah that'd be a good one to jump into uh, if you ever want to there's some scary stuff that's mostly like grotesque body horror stuff not like ah scary you know but... okay that actually sounds pretty interesting like i might actually try and get it on like i guess an xbox or just to try it out I know, like, some of the things that are available on the DS aren't going to be available on the Xbox because, you know, they but, kind of have, like, a whole bunch of different stuff for every console. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, definitely after this podcast, I want to take a look into it. Yeah. But it's, sounds like yeah, it's a lot of fun. my favorite. I love that. It oh. is. 
Okay, so on we're transitioning back into Twitch. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve when you're on Twitch? Ooh, um, homophobes. <laughs> <laughs> Haters, racist, homophobes, that. Yep. Okay. I'll uh, take my time out. I, I mean, I troll right back. And I'm like, no, let's talk. I don't, people don't get booted from my channel right away. Everybody knows I'll address them and be like, and yes, and what? And I give them a chance to try to explain themselves or whatever, or maybe be educated. But like nine times out of 10, it's not that. And I've had the brunt of the bow raids and the brunt of the real people raids and fascist crap and all kinds of stuff. And all like my uploaded content, like YouTube stuff, everything is just full of people who are uh, homophobic and transphobic and racist and stuff. And it's super not fun. And it actually, it's a pet peeve because I get, I'm like, I mean, you know me, I'm, Johnny Rage, I'm like, listen, motherfucker, like that yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, I can't. Believe me, it, it, I know you. <laughs> it, it irks the fuck out of me. And I'm like, no, you don't get to just be like that. Come in and be like that to somebody and just like not account for it. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> that's my biggest pet peeve easily. Like, that shit is nope. Mm -mm. Okay. So, with your Twitch, do you see it being a lot higher within like the next five, ten, like between more? Uh, viewers going on to your channel i hope so i mean it's so unpredictable it's such an unpredictable thing but i i, I always hope there's more and not just like because i'm like oh i want to make money doing this when I mean, duh i do people who are like i'm not trying to like well of course you do like it's great yes i would love to make money thank you for the money people <laughs> but like i like also we've had this i don't know i call it the trash island of misfits so there's like the plastic trash islands in the ocean right because the current's pushing oh. all this waste together it's like that okay i'm not calling my community trash but they would love it if i did anyway and i am um it's like the current's pushing all the stuff that's the same mass and the same buoyancy you know together it's like oh you're you're trash hey same i'm also trash and you glom together like we've had this weird magnet effect of like bringing all these people from all over like together into this space and we're all like the same kind of misfit often have degenerate people and melt them up I mean, I feel like a vast proportion of us are, are queer in one way or another, or we're ASD and stuff on the spectrum, something like, I mean, there's a lot of relatable stuff that people come up never being able to relate to anybody about. And like, there's all this, like this little whirlpool effect of people there. And I, so I'm like, always just like cool, more people and more viewers, because like that every time that kind of stuff happens, like there's more people in this community who feel like they have somewhere genuinely safe to be but not like we're making a safe space but don't be nsfw and don't be a cunt you know it's like you can be a cunt <laughs> whoever you want to be here that's fine and you can be you and we'll support you like you know and like that's i don't know that's the one thing i i will i have major imposter syndrome but i will take some i don't know how it's happened but yeah some space around me has been made of that and it makes me happy because people have somewhere to go and work shit out you know relate so to people then this kind of goes with that question. Uh, do you kind of call your Twitch kind of a safe haven for some people then? What, don't feel like oh, that they kind of fit yeah. in? I mean, well, yeah, but like, it's not like I'm trying to make that. I mean, like a lot of people's stuff, you know, they're like, this, I, I'm so and so, and this, and this is nothing against anybody, but like, I'm so and so, and this is my, you know, this is a safe, I, this is blah 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 community and you know it's a safe space and so we just want positivity and vibes like i'm not like that i'm not was never trying to do that i'm a fucking asshole and all my stuff i'm not out here doing that it just happened and that's because it genuinely is that though okay like, and not that other people aren't genuine who are saying that i'm not saying that but i mean like it it just organically has very much become that because of the people involved in it everybody like like supporting each other and being open to people and educating people first before jumping down their throat if they don't agree with something or like whatever like every like people can talk about stuff my server's got a whole channel that's like you opt in or not you can go in here and hash it out and then shake it you know if you have a discourse you have different thoughts on something you can talk about politics whatever the heck you want and if you talk in there you're opting into doing that so be offended not sure. whatever the heck you shake hands at the end and leave you know nobody's no hard feelings yeah. kind of thing and it, it works and it functions really well and it's like people talk about shit and there's a lot of different you know it's not like we're all just like the same rainbow degenerates in my community like there's a lot of different people and like i mean and it it, it works and it's kind of an accidental thing and so that's why i'm like yeah it is a safe place because it is just naturally that like nobody was even trying to make a thing you know but i definitely yeah. make it that way because i'm like 
I pre- I yeet with I stand at the door of the shield and yeet anybody you know potentially away from stuff that would be like causing harm to things and stuff. And I've only ever really had to do that once ever with anybody in the server at least. Um, and when it comes to the chat and stuff, and at least it's like, only one. Yeah, it's only one one person ever really had to get kicked out of the server ever. So I mean that's impressive because it's a pretty damn active server. So oh believe me, I know I'm in your server. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen some of the stuff that can go on in your Discord server. Like, oh my yep. gosh. This is the never ending one word story. That yep. is one thing that cracks me up every single time I go in. Because it's, I go in, I, love it. I look to check the one word story server we're at. I'm like, okay, can I jump in here? Do I yep. hold back a little bit? Dude, but I never even really... got a chance to check the one word story today because I've been <laughs> completely busy. People really try to like keep it going as like something like coherent, but then sometimes, yeah, sometimes they're just like ass balls. Like they just throw stuff in there instead. Sometimes people <laughs> coherent, and sometimes oh, they're just like, yes, oh, we're like twelve year old boys. And we're like oh, balls, and it's great. <laughs> I just did that because it was a theater thing we used to do. You know, like, you go, right, it's an improv theater game and stuff, and you go, you know, in a circle, IRL, and do that. And I, when I was making my server, I was like, that'd be a fun thing to just start and just see what happens. And that's literally been, like, the most – people are always like, oh, damn. And it's, like, something I've noticed and other people haven't done. I'm like, cool. Because I just thought, in like, in theory, that would be a neat thing. But it is – it has spawned some, some stuff. <laughs> okay, so fun. do you mind if I say a couple things from your um... – Never ending one word oh, story. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So I kind of see like a whole bunch of things. Like I see some stuff regarding Apex. I see some. <laughs> that was just Apex, Apexing, Apex, whatever. Apexingly oh. something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Like I know there was the taint water is wet. Um. That's such, that should be on a sticker. Like, there is <laughs> just some that. stuff in here that's oh, not safe for stream. <laughs> oh. Um, let's see here. It's, there's just so much in here that... It always is lots of times. Yeah, just... Ra- yeah. Yeah. Like, regarding spinach. <laughs> when. Spinach. Yeah. Like, it, it's just completely, like... It could be anything, for sure. It is just so interesting. Like, there is... I don't even know how to describe it. Because it <laughs> I, keeps you I on mean, your toes no I don't matter what. Can. It's a... Yeah, like, it's a closer to fuck knife, Mary. Especially and it looks, today it looks at Morgan too. 2. You know what happened there. I feel like I, I feel like I'm on like some like gotcha journalist show now. It's like today, if, where have where were you for today at four fifty two? Oh, what I just see yeah, no, today is I'm like okay. Regarding yeah. you, had put down bro. <laughs> somebody put so somebody started a new sentence. Okay, because yes. blood punctuation whatever, and it was dick, and then someone italicized hard. It was hard, dick and I was like hard, bro. bro. <laughs> and I put a in it. Dick hard, bro. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, what is going on? Like, when I saw today's, I'm like, do I eat? <laughs> I just added while I was in there. Yeah. What's next? Are you going to put in the eat squad? <laughs> it's fuckery yeats. I don't know. We'll see what else comes. That's what's fun, because people come in. Sometimes they're just in a mood where they're like, I'm gonna be like eighth grader, be like balls, piss, uh, pussy. <laughs> but other days, people are like, "Oh, we're gonna craft this whole story." Uh, who knows, man? That's why it's fun. It's people. It's yeah. That oh God, it's already being added it. to your <laughs> never-ending story is already being added to. Oh, there's yeah. That's Chris and Chat Dragon, floppy. Oh, it's man. fuckery. It's floppingly. All right, Johnny. So yeah, this is just interesting between your server um your twitch it's like you kind of tie a lot of things into it like i've already heard you made references from your server into your twitch live where like i had to look at twitch Mm -hmm. not twitch discord like a good solid half hour to find out like okay what was this in reference to 
And I'm like, oh, right. that's what it was in reference to. Oh, I'm not trying to. I just, I'm a, I am an Asperger fever dream. So I just <laughs> bring a consciousness everything, and things all go together. And I'm not ever trying to do that. It just that happens. And a lot of the reference stuff and emotes stuff are very weird, bizarro, East jokes that. Yeah, Sean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Like I said, I'm just here. <laughs> I have no idea. I, just, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah. I'm I mean, sorry you I'm... had to look a half hour through my server for something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, but that, it's, that, I, I enjoyed it, time. though. It's like, I enjoy it just like getting this freaking dying laughing just from looking and like reading the story, reading some the stuff that got put in there i'm like what is happening but yeah, i've like, been needing to revive laugh. the, the quotables channel the quirky quotables happened because in general chat one day that channel we uh somebody was like blah 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 by so and so like because we were talking about something else and it was like we just misquote like a fake thing you know like e equals mc square but we were like oscar the grouch instead of like albert Einstein <laughs> or whatever and then like everybody started like everybody and their mother in the server was like Boom, boom, boom. And we were all just like making these made up quotes though that were either like mashed up famous quotes or like something somebody didn't say. And I was like, fuck it, I'm making a channel for this. And like that I've been needing to revive lately because like that shit is so funny if you go back. Like, like there's some I, 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 I that are know, like, what? Uh. I know that you have like your um, GIF garbage in your server. Yeah. I know it's, you have your you link GIFs later. Everywhere anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's yeah. just a I lot of seen... it is just good old laughs. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, for sure. But that's what just my keeps One of my favorites is this, this Patrick. I just saw this Patrick one again, too, where it's Patrick on some train tracks with Thomas behind him in black and white in, like, a quote format, and it's, like, come in the back door, stepsis. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the stuff that's in that channel. Or, like, yeah. Oh, gosh. I, it's... <laughs> this is exactly some of the things I start to question yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to make him an otter he can't refuse. The codfather. Ocean jokes. Oh, like, God. what? <laughs> I'm proud of that one still. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> There's a lot of, of good, bad, dry humor in there. Well, thank you for noticing. It's awful. Uh, it's, it, it's very funny, so that's why... <laughs> You gotta do it. Mm-hmm. Like, there's something from Spongebob. Yep. So that was uh, an that interesting was a one. Yep. <laughs> Mostly it has to deal with um, the pencil. Back in May the 15th <laughs> of 2022... Oh. Oh. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm on dateline now. Seriously though, it's like, oh on this date and you're serving this happen. I'm like, what I don't fucking know. <laughs> what? Well it doesn't help that I'm also going through your Yeah, I noticed. I'm getting put on a spot. I mean, everybody's like, oh <laughs> see Discord. I'm like, listen. I don't know. But it's a lot of stuff is just absolutely hysterical. That's good. <laughs> so it's like it matter like how hard the day can be it's like you're just constantly laughing just going from like the the, the gif garbage the meme channel just <laughs> anything mm -hmm. yeah it's a uh, i just spilled my fuckery of a brain into a discord server and apparently it, it's attracted <laughs> other people who are fucking brain too and we're all they're making memes and being degenerates and <laughs> i don't know you know what you but need, that's why Johnny, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you, you need, like, a little server count. Like, on because, how yeah, many I think it's, you got in there. Because cool. you have, like, a lot in here. So, I like, know. It would just be cool to see how many, how, many, how many people do you got. I got a lot. There's I We we broke 100, like, early, way earlier this year, the end of the year or something, actually. And that's, like, active people. So. But, okay. Like, there's I, a lot. I know, like, in your general chat which you caught it for some apparent reason general fuckery yeah like um bishop titty holder the first had to put That's down nice. being hunted and it, you just see the, like this saw mosquito just following like it's 
absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, Johnny. So from There's a lot of oh, there uh, there is a lot. Like strongly considering to surrender to the couch. Mm hmm. Johnny. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that was you. Yeah. Cause so. why not? Mm hmm. So is was there anything like in reference to that? Like on that you were going to be sleeping on the couch? No, I was just like couch lock chilling, being lazy, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep being lazy. <laughs> we just be talking in there. Everybody's like friends and everybody just shares shit. Got people putting up shelves and sharing. I mean, yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> I can already see that. It's. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's just some of the stuff that gets posted on here is just absolutely. Don't tell them everything, though. People got. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a stop hash on my Discord server. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually going to be link putting a link to your server oh, in don't, our uh, top chat. Don't, don't do that. Oh. It's invite only right now because uh hate raid stuff, so. Right. right, right yeah, right, we're not right. we're not putting right now it's invite only. There's people that can send them out like during streams and stuff to specific people because uh too much Haiti. Yeah, especially yeah. with now. Yeah, I completely yep. understand. But thank you for the thought. Typically, I mean, I always had it open before, but yeah, it needed to get shut down for a little bit like that, so. That, that's... Hopefully we can get back to, I had to shut down once before, too, and then once I, I had it back open, it was fine for, like, months and months, and then, yeah, so. All right. I gotta protect all the people in there. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, actually, guys, if you want to see Johnny at all in a server, you can always come into my server and have a nice, fluent conversation with Johnny. Wait, it's giving me a lot of credit. Well, I mean, Enough. once it's like <laughs> it's between the Retro Rates podcast and between just kind of mm. chatting from then to now mm. that you're on my podcast, it's kind of like we've kind of like stated what all we like, what all we don't like, and it's I'm actually finding out more stuff about you that I never even knew. <laughs> now it's like okay, I'm a mystery. Oh, it's I'm an enigma. It's like you're just like this stable fish. You're like, who am I? And it's like, I don't know who you are, but I want to try and find out who you are. Me neither. Speaking I don't know either. of that, we're actually going oh. to go into Two Truths and a Lie, where I had actually asked you to come up with a couple of lies, yeah. a couple of truths. So maybe you can kind of trick me up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to try. I suck at these, but I'm going to try. <laughs> If anybody remembers my appearances on Ghost Game, we all know that I suck at these, but okay. <laughs> all it right. was either that or I did um, Smash or Pass, so. I mean, and we, all we all know how it goes with me. <laughs> <laughs> we all know my segment of Smash or Pass, where I had completely did um, Banjo-Kazooie and Zero Suit Samus. Remember that one? Yeah, it was like Samus, but that, and when then, what, <laughs> fucking Ro Roman. Uh, uh, Roman yeah, Ray completely just... Roman was like, all right, yeah, he was like... Banjo Kazooie. And I was like, all right, way to just own it, because everybody else had all the same Banjo Kazooie stuff. He was like, no. <laughs> Mr. Up in Enigma and Upside Down Tesseract. Thank you. That's my partner just described me. Thanks for... See? Nobody knows me. Not even them. <laughs> okay. So, you want me to read you some truths and some a uh, lie? Okay. All right. You ready? Uh, as ready as I'm ever going to be, Johnny. All right. Am I truly ever ready, though? <laughs> are, are, are any of us? Okay. I've broken both legs. I've broken my pelvis. I've broken my back. So, it... If, broken my leg? I've bro broken both legs. I've broken my pelvis. And I've broken my back. Well... One's a lie. Long story short, if you would have broken your back... The chances of you being paralyzed are significantly increased from the legs down. Um, both legs, it's. You see, that would be like a couple of years of recovery to be able to walk on your own again. And what was the other one? You broke your. There's. You broke your back, you broke My your pelvis. Your pelvis. Pelvis. That's 
all your, you know what your pelvis is, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to say that you broke your pelvis. Is the lie? Is he? Okay. I'm, no, I'm actually leaning toward that more nope. of a truth. Is nope, it... nope, you said it. You oh, said... seriously? I was right? No. What? You so were, it's... but I'm saying you gotta stick with it. All <laughs> right, it. all right. I'm like, all right. I, my... I have broken my back and I've shattered my pelvis. Shattered my pelvis. And I can Dang. do this, though. I, my body's really fucked up, though, but yeah. I've never broken my legs, though, somehow, even though I did all that, but yep. <laughs> oh, damn. And yes, I did have to relearn to walk again and my balance, everything. I had to relearn how to do a lot of stuff all over again. And once my body sits a little bit higher and I've got a bunch of fucked up shit, but yeah. Yep. But Dang. I'm here. I can amble my way to the up and down the stairs and the work and bathroom and store and shit like that still. So, I mean, after a lot of fucking work. So there's that. I knew, see, I, I've got better at it. I was like, let's pick some things that are unbelievable that I've done and then put something <laughs> else on there. And then people will be like, ah, I got better at that one. Okay. Okay. Now I'm more confident with my others. You told me to do like three of them. So I did three. Right? Okay. Yeah. That's, Is that okay? That's perfectly fine, Johnny. I don't know, but my other ones I think are shit, but I'll do one more. Um, you mean two more? Okay. <laughs> or two more. Fine. The other one I came up with is meh. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. I uh, can play the flute. I can play the saxophone. Or I can play the piano. Oh, so you're a musician. I didn't even know this about you. So this is going to be very hard. Um, you just don't seem like the person to play the saxophone. You don't seem like the person... I want to say the the lie is you that you play the piano. Nope, I play the piano and the saxophone. I don't. You play, play the, the flute. <laughs> you play the saxophone. Yeah, me I can do too. Like, well, nice. Which dude. one? Alto tenor. Alto, I did tenor too. Yeah, I had my Antigua wins alto. I don't have. Yeah, I have to get a, a new sax soon. That thing got destroyed. But um, yeah. I don't play, I can play most things. Uh, flute's the one thing I really haven't ever accomplished. Well, I don't know why I have these big fucker lips and I can make a bunch of noises with my face, but I cannot <laughs> lute. I play trumpet, I can play uh, saxophone, clarinet, all the reed instruments more or less. And, really? Like, oboe and stuff even. Yeah, I, uh, percussion was the big thing I made in though, and rhythm section stuff in general. I did piano, uh, play drum kits and stuff like that, bass, mandolin. Now that is like, absolutely cool. I did not know that about you. He's like, I am a very musical guy. Kid. Like, it's I play... Trumpet, I'm learning trombone. Euphonium. Trombones are fun. Oh, they are fun, but it's, you know, it's remembering the slide positions. That, mm -hmm. That's absolutely the thing that kills yep. me. Uh, alto sax, fairy sax. Uh, I actually Very own fun. a uh, soprano sax. Which is actually nice, there. Kenny G. <laughs> that's exactly what my father said when I purchased my very first soprano sax. You could do a Halloween costume. You could get like a curly perm wig oh, and be God. Kenny G and you wear an open I, I, I... silk shirt and walk around <laughs> with a soprano saxophone and be like, I'm Kenny G. Happy Halloween. Do a see... Halloween stream with Kenny G. <laughs> and you play sax and sax music all the time. Oh gosh. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> but that's actually an idea I never even thought about doing. But no, I'm not. You need like a, a goal or something. When you hit affiliate, you'll do a Kenny G stream or something like that. <laughs> Oh, gosh. No, I don't think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> You're like, no, though, but no. <laughs> Although I might consider doing that. Because that actually be pretty fun, but scary to do. Yeah, it's good to get out of your zone and just try shit. Yeah, for sure. Gosh. It's either that or cosplay as the guy, um, the kid from Up, the Wellness Explorer <laughs> Scout. <laughs> With this little trumpet. Dude. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I did Boy Scout thing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there's just so much I could do. Yeah, dude. <laughs> do that stuff. Gimmicks are where it's at. All sure. right. And your last two truths and lie. This one, I realized after I wrote it, might be might fuck you up anyway because I feel like it's just... You're so much younger than me. We'll see. But, um, so I've met Huey Lewis's mom. You listen to the news. 
of Huey Lewis in the News. Um, I've shaken MC Hammer's hand. And uh, I sat next to Rowdy Roddy Piper on a train. I, These are all my adjacent celebrity interactions. The only one I actually know the name of is MC Hammer. That's the I only realize they're all older things that... than you probably know. That's a I, tough one. I know. I realized after I did it, I was like, you might not even know how half these people are. <laughs> and then that's, that's going to make it hard anyway. So I guess kudos for me accidentally. But <laughs> Oh, gosh. So it was you met... Someone's Huey mother. Lewis's mom. Yep. You shook hands with MC Hammer and then you sat mm -hmm. next to Rowdy Roddy Piper on a train. train. I like trains. I want to say about the mother that's a lie. Nope. I met Huey Lewis's mom. Really? Yep. And I shook MC Hammer's hand. I did not, unfortunately, sit next to Rowdy Roddy Piper. I wish I had. I mean, for if, dude, if I had, I would have been like. I love him. But anyway, rip my mans. Yeah, no, I, uh, I've shaken and talked, MC Hammer's hand and talked to him and a bunch of shit. And then, yeah, he was his mom, um, lived up in this, in this county in Northern California when I was living down there that, uh, we went to a, like, reunion meetup music thing that, like, all these locals did. All the, it's all these, like, retired, like, wealthy liberals and stuff that live okay. up in these hills by the bay, bay, basically. And, like, that's, uh, my friend was, like, getting, they were like, oh, their their partner's like father is part of this band and they all knew each other and all this stuff and they were there and then she was like trying to get his my friend and i to like oh do they like you know they needed a caretaking position and stuff like that and i was like oh that'd be kind of cool but i didn't end up doing that but it was really cool i was like you gave birth to a really cool musician also <laughs> it was that a random thing it's one of those adjacent like my so-and-so's cousin so-and-so this that thing you know i'm like oh he was oh, his God. mom that yeah, yeah, no, she was super cool. No wonder he's cool, so. Mm. Alright, so I actually have some two truths to the lie for you. Okay. Let's see here. The first one, first truth is, I, I have to remember it real quick, because I honestly can't remember it. That's one thing I did not take notes down. See? I wrote them down. You see, I didn't write them down on those notes. I actually don't even. Yeah, I, I told you earlier I was winging it with those too, but not like. Oh. oh gosh. Uh, Can I go grab another drink while you're trying oh, to Oh yeah. You're... Go, go okay. right ahead. I'm going. So guys, we'll go. we actually be right back. Ta-da! Alright. Damn, that was quick, Johnny. <laughs> I was getting another drink from the fridge downstairs. I did run a little bit. <laughs> oh, we were running, so that's why. <laughs> My dog's cat's hot dog fell on Bruce Lee's horse. Wards! <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so, okay. I have a twin. I grew up with curls in my hair mm. and when I was younger I wanted to be in the army I think asking questions you said a twin not fraternal or identical or anything um cur I'm a curls is a lie no it's actually a twin it's a twin okay I almost thought that I was like the army thing I definitely but, but what you see is huh. a lot of people think that my brother and I are twins, but we were actually not. He is. You're not. You just seem like it. Yeah. Quite, I actually don't even remember how old he is at the moment. <laughs> um, but he's like a couple years older than me. Like they're like, are you twins? Like no. I yeah, guess it's because, I've like, known people like that too. Where it's trippy. Like, well, we both like to grow out our facial hair. The only difference between my brother and I is. I like to have long hair. The only reason why it's short now is because I was like, I'm not going with this heat to have long hair. Yeah. 
Is it would have been like truly yeah. curly, like it's like no. Yeah, mine's I have it all waxed right now, but yeah, mine's all wavy, curly, textured, and stuff really hard. Typically. All right, so there's one I lost. What's next? All right, let's see here. I just have to. You know, she's got twin. Almost dead. Now I have to remember this one real quick. Okay. I was my coach's right hand man. I was my band director's go to guy. And I knew someone famous. And, okay. Okay, I'm so sorry, Bozier7953. I... I don't know your age. I'm having a dumb moment. <laughs> oh, is that the brother? That's the brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I'll this right now. <laughs> it's fucking called out, dude. I didn't even know he was watching my stream. He's normally no, does watch. in your chat like a while ago. He's like question marks way earlier, <laughs> and then was like quiet, and then popped up a minute emo a second ago, and then was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Hold out. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, brother. Help me. Which one's the lie then? Lifeline. Uh, no, 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 no. T five is nice. You know anyone famous? Please do not. Come on, Johnny. It's all you. Um, you, you weren't your coach's go-to guy, I guess? No, I actually don't know anybody famous. famous. Well, That's the other one I, I mean, almost did. I so mean, vague, by... but then I was like, it's so vague because you do. I was like, that'd be the, the metabrain thing to do. So I was like, mm, I'm not falling for that. Shit. So at my job, they actually changed it from like assistant manager to coaches. So... Back when... Oh, I think it's sports. Co oh, <laughs> nice. okay. I was thinking. <laughs> well so played. my well played. Coach actually got went over to the academy store. Her name was Coach Susan. She was like my absolute favorite coach, Steve and under. So I was constantly oh. under her. Like I was basically whatever she did, I <laughs> pretty much did. I'm like, all right. Let's... And now. I was up right under my band director, like, Crazy. whenever he wanted me to do something, I just straight up and Constantly did it. Under her. So it was like, con ha ha, very funny, Johnny. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, was, I, I was... had to. I figured <laughs> that he would be the band director one, yeah. But that's, yeah. All right. You have one more? Actually, I do not have one more. Well, shit. See, I got you. Was like, oh, and one more. Made me do three. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me one minute so I can think of one. No, you're good. You're good. I you, I can uh, easily do a third one, Johnny. How hard is it going to be? Oh, to think oh of easily. One? It's hard. Apparently, it's hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> dirty trick, right? Oh, uh, sure. Not as dirty yeah. as not knowing how old you are, bro. Right? Sure. Okay. So, how old do you think I am, Johnny? You've told me you're really you're like twenty. You're actually. Right, I, am I know, I remember this happened, this came up because we were That's in Dustin, we were all yeah. like, fucking old, dude. And I'm we're like old. the youngest one there. Three, yeah, when we were in the, in the, the retro rant though, it was like, holy shit, we were all significantly older. I remember that. I remember like, like, even the very first, it. the very first console I've ever played on was the NES. Plus earlier you said you were born after 9-11, so. Yeah, no, that's why I remember being like, oh, cool, yeah. Young and knows his retro shit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a that. lot of people were, like, shocked that I know my retro stuff. It's good, though. Speaking of retro stuff, are we going to play some Turtles, too, later? Oh, ab happening? absolutely. To, to close things out for a little bit? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? Excited. Actually, I I, I'm going to be pulling that up right now my computer. Cool. I'll open mine too. Well, it's, uh, I would have had this hour planned a little more thoroughly with more stuff. I could have easily did it. But, you know, I was a bad guy and I was underprepared. Oh, dude. But that's how you learn. You're like, okay, and then you know for next time kind of thing. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're good. Also, I'll send you my um, Xboxy thing so that you can. 
make shit. It's literally just drawing your background actually, but I'll send you the Cody thing or whatever. Uh, send it to me via the uh, Discord call. Yeah. Yes. I just got to grab the thingy. I think I'm the only one. It's, yeah, it's not gonna give me a number for it because it's just that. But it's it's legit. Just my name. I'm just drawing her back probably on like everything. There's Twitter. I have underscore or some shit because somebody else that existed had a thing. But it's weird. Like nobody anywhere ever has it. I lucked out. Or aren't you lucky? Yeah, like I, yeah, <laughs> nobody I has think... any, it's an old folk song name too, but it's like, but it seems like it'd be a first and last name kind of thing, but like, people don't have that shit anywhere, so cool, lucky me. Yeah, like here I am with a freaking interesting, uh, <laughs> here I am with something interesting. Yeah, it's well, the shit. Well, it's... read on, god damn. Well, I was going to be going over and trying to do my Twitch name, but that didn't necessarily go too well because I used to mm -hmm. be like in a battlefield for Milsom unit. So, oh, like, nice. and there's like completely two Red Hawks. So that was like confusing. So, like, all right, uh, which Red Hawk are we trying to address here? So it just constantly got confusing. Word. So, I'm going to so... send you my. Uh, Okay, you can send me yours. That's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to be changed. I'm taking a piss before it starts too. I'm just excited. I beat. So you just you just got this, and uh, yeah, it is a. Uh, I've beaten it twice, and I'm excited to play it through more. Oh, hella. Be yes, right back. I've never played this at all. It's fun. I kind of figured. So this kind of gives me like a good old solid arcade vibe. Which I'm like absolutely 100% down for. Because it's not many games are even remotely going back to this style. And it's, I, I don't know why, because it was just a, such a good game style for it to even be taken to. Yeah, I, I mean, I watched Dustin Orbit play a couple times, and I just wanted to completely go and try and why do I have to sign into my ep yes I know the connection was lost leave me alone Had to cha cha. Alright. Let me get you out of here. Uh -huh. Johnny, I already found you. I'm adding oh, you, you as a nice. friend. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, I said it was just it just that on there, yeah. Well it's like I had to do a freaking uh, Windows Boom. I think I beat you. <laughs> I had to do Windows G just to Oh did the game bar thing like, instead of the, yeah. the app? Oh. Yeah, I just went to that. Well, lucky you. <laughs> yes, I've been having problems with my uh, apps. It's like, I don't know why, but it's just... It might be... Uh, sometimes it's like... I'm disabling some of the game bar shit, or the game shit, like the Xbox game shit. You have to, like, get the kernel again and a bunch of weird shit. Anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. Oh. Lose shit that way, and then I will. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Skip that. And you. Yeah. Do you think you'd be able to send me an invite? I am working on it. I have to get into the <laughs> thing to do it first. All right. All right. Create party. Private. Huh? Invite. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, it's like I had to completely do that there. shortcut. Yeah. 
All right, here we fucking go. It is such a good game, isn't it? All right, I did continue for mine, so I'll probably just put us I'm gonna start from the beginning again. Yeah, now we get to go down and start it. I don't lose my shit. Boop. Oh gosh. Level you one. Play. Yeah, you get little cutscenes and stuff if you do it from yours first, but yeah, because since I already beat it, it's gonna not show it all. But yeah, it'll show some of them. Like, oh yeah. I, I, I don't care about the cutscenes. It's fun. They're fun as heck, though. Like, I know, um, Dustin Orbit was playing this last time he streamed. Yeah. I wasn't you can keep juggling hard. bodies forever. So I had just gotten, uh, the challenge saying that that failed about um, yeah, it'll still, it just does that as soon as, because it's, uh, the whole level, and then it, it's for anything, too. I'm like, what? I, I didn't even get hit. That was for mine, probably, not yours. Shit, oh, we hit each other. <laughs> God, Mikey, I was, I've been playing Casey and I, Shredder so far, so. I forget, he's way faster, which is nice. That's a big ass spring too. So I do got it. It's just, Six. Get like just a walk good right through song. them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> this gives like a solid arcade vibe, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, it it is. Yeah, ha hella. Like, I can also do this up to fucking the radical mode thing too. Do do do. Oh yeah, no, not with him yet, but I get it too. I don't think I could hear the audio for the game. Oh, you can't? Oh, yeah, you're sent. Yeah, I, I had it muted, so I, I couldn't. So like, oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, that'd be helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to just know. Technology, my absolute favorite. Ugh. Yeah, relatable. <laughs> Mike Strike! Mike Strike! Clickety clackety. No, not today, bitch. And it's like oh, you shit. know where things are gonna be thrown. I don't. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going. You're still doing, but you're doing better. You're doing good. You're you sure about that? <laughs> you're gonna want to do this so you get the collectible for you too, because I've already done it. But oh, there we go. You just have to get him out of there. Bitch, you thought. If you uh right bumper to you'll yeah I, and it'll give you specials. yeah yeah I cool. remember seeing that in like the little tutorial in the beginning yeah special delivery. yeah I get knocked out by a fucking camera special delivery dude shit on these guys are just trying to get their culinary degree so they can get out of Foot Clan though you know what I mean and we're just like fucking it up for them because <laughs> we're like profiling <laughs> they're here trying trying to get an education make a better life for themselves and we're just shitting all over it. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> it's like later too, there's a level where it's like there's a park and they're clearly just trying to look out like and, and you know, like enjoy the, the day. And then we just come in head kicking him and stuff and it's like, damn. That's oh, bold. Shit. Punch me right in the back. Tease. Ah, nice. <laughs> Good throw. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, dude, that's if you just approach and don't attack, you can do grabs and a bunch of different throws. Sick. The pounced. Back at you, <laughs> <laughs> He's like. Oh. Um. Okay, then. That's good. I'm like, is he going to? Die? Is he going? Oh shit! <laughs> um. Are you? Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting like a bad internet connection. Yeah, out. you're way. Yeah, I don't know. Your mic stuff was cutting out earlier, so it might just be the internet. But that could be. You just keep beating up their corpses too and juggling them. Look at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. 
deep breath. But I don't want a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, what if I don't want to breathe? I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna live my life. Oh! Throw a camera, a whole camera at somebody's face. Oh my god. Special delivery! Special delivery! What, what is hysterical is like you can just throw them directly at the screen, so it's like yeah, there's that throw. You're gonna want to remember for a later boss too. It helps a lot if you have that one down. Is there? Yeah, the angle. Um, there's different throws you can do. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm like, it's weird. Like sometimes I get like the thing saying like, hey, you're like lagging really, really bad. And it's like saying, hey, you are doing solid. I don't understand that. Now we're just throwing out. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Like, yeah, just get out of here. <laughs> but, Bro. So far, How did he just keep touching me on all? God damn. I didn't even all see right, him. Okay. Have yeah, have fun jumping over uh, all the... Okay, you're gonna want to just... Attack him once he rams out, you jump over him, and then, you know, he'll stop, and on the other side, you get stars and dizzy, and then you can hit him and shit. Get up, bitch! I'm gonna pew pew! Oh shit! Oh, he went up right where I went, too! Fucker. Join that party up there. Deep breath. Deep breath. Oh shit. Johnny, you look like you're in deep in thought. I'm I'm in deep in, in winning winning games. Sweaty Johnny. Oh, Come on back, bitch. This is how I always look. My game face is gross. I can't stand it. And <laughs> Bob's like... I just don't know why, but you look like you were deep in thought. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Hmm. There it goes. Lay down, bitch! Yeah, I had to play 52 pickup. Like, holy bro, I'm like, really in the red. <laughs> He's playing as Leo. Yeah. So fun. It's very arcadey. There's arcade mode What's too where you run. Oh yeah, it's overall it's uh, I, I can't complain about those. Really it's so fun. fun. There's collectible like when you play your own story mode too and unlock like go through all the the freaking um you know, cutscenes and all the collectibles and stuff that I've already gotten, but like you'll there's a whole thing and if you get all the um cameo characters by the end then like you get a different cutscene at the end. It's, it's a very arcadey thing, and there's arcade mode as well, with like, you know, you go to around tokens and continues and shit, so. That's pretty cool. It's very fun. Very addicting. Yeah, I, I'm sure they will bring some DLC for it too, Chris, because it's kind of built for that. Oh, yeah. Dude, dude, all the music's so good too in it. It's amazing. Let's see how... Am I going to last, or am I going to start lagging? <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I heard- so there's a six-player mode of this, and I heard that it was still having some issues, though. And, like, yeah, that's a lot of people that coordinate, but it's cool in theory when it's actually, like, working, working, it's gonna be dope. Oh, that, that is um, really cool. Yeah. Oh, power pieces. Gimme. Yeah, get hit with your own friend, dude. Oh, you took the other piece too. Nice. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> oh, you're gonna throw people at each other once to step into it and it's gone. It's like, it's fine, because I was just beating people up with their homies. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. They got me in that dick punch again. God damn it, every time. Oh, shit. Got on the other side of him, I thought. 
Nice. Party, dude. Oh, yeah, you get an achievement for going down that hole, too, once. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you get an achievement for it. It hurts your health some, but yeah, you get it. So I've That's noticed. It. I can give you some health here in a second. Okay, here, come here, come here. Uh, after I get through this, dude, here. Okay, watch this. Face me. There you go. Solid. I gave you some health. High five for health. Idiot, drop this on the floor. Idiot, fucking blah, 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 blah. Woo, get yeeted. Nice. <laughs> Yeet. Honestly, that's just the quickest way to go. Thank you. I can't remember. Nobody cares. Oh shit! Every time I land in that fucking shit, get muted. We just keep throwing <laughs> everybody. I love it. Well, that's like the e. Oh, it's got this even for number sixteen enemies for camera. That's that. All right, I'm not gonna complain. First. Bitch. But yeah, so far I cannot complain about this game. It's, like, it's, it's so fun. It is. Like the fact that they bring well, brought back the arcade style yeah. of it, that's just Yeah, it fulfills a bunch of stuff for me, not just like old turtle game, but like just yeah, old arcade game in general. And like, yeah. I mean Mike and I played like I played it a little bit before Mike D and I played it one day, and then like we were playing it, and he was like, he never streams over two hours, he's like Let's just keep going. We're close to the end. I was like, dude, it's like we're hanging out in the garage, you know? So we're now hanging out. We're like, we're gonna beat this game, like, now, though. I know we don't <laughs> get up to the finals or something, but we got it. we're gonna do it now. Like, it was like, and we just ran through the whole thing, and it was such a mood. And I was like, yeah, it's a very nice, nostalgic thing. Sorry, I had to throw it. It's like, it's just the You're satisfaction of it. It's, I don't know why. Okay, you did, fools. I was like inside his body for a second. I'm gonna keep like, juggling him over there. Let him get run over by his friend. <laughs> I completely remember seeing that uh, little scene from one of the Dusting Orbit TikTok about um, getting run over and him just like completely yep. back and laughing. Like that's whenever I have that happen, that's just like completely all I just hear is laugh. I'm like, all right, all right, I remember this. I kept trying to throw guys into the hole before too, but it doesn't work. I was like, damn. Oh, <laughs> I got you more health. There. <laughs> uh. Oh, I hit myself a little bit. Little bit of that. Get blown up. Good juggle, bitch. Oh, this is fun. You should hit that. Yep. Now I start spamming Y. Or triangle, whatever. Yeah, I just keep spamming it. Well, as I oh, was what? going to um, use my. PlayStation controller, but I was like, should I input lag? Yeah, with those. Um, okay then. <laughs> nice. I know it's fun. Huh? No, I say no. No, 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 no. He just explodes. He's like, never mind. <laughs> Trying out of this way before. Shit on. The music's so fucking good. God damn it. it is. First time I don't need to add that scream from every scene from Spaceballs or Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Wilhelm scream? Yeah. First time in a whole Red Hawk? Um, Wilhelm scream. Yeah, I have no comment to that about the first time being in the hole. <laughs> Oh shit, I landed right on that one again. Oh, whoops, I made it up. Oh my gosh. 
So it is actually a lot easier with the controller than the keyboard. Like I was playing oh, yeah, it a little bit. A... Oh yeah, no, it's a keyboard. Control. I'm like, um, for yeah, game no, it's... like, yeah, controller for sure. I'm like, dude, wait a second, up, oh, there we go. I was like, do I try and continue with the keyboard now? So I'm like, nah. Okay. 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 Back at you. Yeah, I get you again. Uh, unless he's blowing me up right now. Uh, but hobbit, 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 uh, move now. Time to die, bitch. Bye, Rocksteady. Nice. Oh, my horn. My fucking horn. <laughs> oh, the way that. Oh, my horn. A oh, damn. Yeah, um, that might be one of the highest things we've done yet. Fuck. Alpha Company, I have no comment to what you had said. Just straight <laughs> up no comment. Woo, this one's a toughie. Thank you for the warning. This one's all about timing. Yeah, it's a vehicle level. You know, it's gonna be. It's a way. Good one to wrap up with it for sure. This is this song, by the way, bops. It will haunt you for the next several days. It's so good. Excuse me. Fire. Thank you, Lord. Very good. Let's keep our eyes on the world. Oh, triple bar. Oh, fuck that one up. Yeah, that's on me. That's on you. I'm like, what? Why? It's like, I didn't even yeah, take it's, any it's damage. Showing up, it's showing up for anybody, yeah, but still, it's like, you're not, yeah, finishing the whole thing hard is a mood to try, so. I've, I've beaten it twice so far, I'm like, I need to grind out. That was some of the challenges, though, for sure, so. Go to sleep, bitch. Switch real. Ooh, that's close. Ha. Oh, jeez, I got hit, hit right in the dick. Oh, <laughs> I was up and above. I thought I was out of the way. Damn. Yep, getting run the fuck over. This is where I yep. remember that he got um, ran over. Yep. Oh, I always jump into those and try to stop them. Oh, I jump into them. Fuck you things, get out of here. So any tips, tricks? Uh, jump, hit, jump, hit. Otherwise there'll be a gun. And now watch out for folly stuff. This won't happen the whole time, it's only in this tunnel. Um, but otherwise it's gonna be a uh, I get some health. Now watch out for falling stuff. Um, it's just gonna be wait till he's throwing that stuff and then jump and do one hit. Because if you hit more than once, typically you're gonna get stuck there and get hit in the face with that and blow up. Um, and then they shoot a gun. It starts with once and then it becomes a twice in a row thing and it goes diagonal so you can jump and like avoid it kind of. And then uh, oh shit, shit, shit! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Go, fucker! There you go. Car, watch out! Whoop. Ah, oh, this is not good. Well, you still have lives, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're good. Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, now we're gonna start fighting that again in a second. And yeah, just jump up and like X, uh, X A, I think, yeah, you can, it's your straight up diagonal thing. And that tends to take those out pretty easily. But then yeah, it's gonna just be timing, just waiting and dodging stuff and hitting them at the right time, kind of boss arcade vibes, you know, with the truck thing. It's a pain in the ass though still. Oh! 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, we go. Ah! Oh, oh. oh. I didn't even see that pow. Oh. Oh. Daryl, so. Well, I'll be honest with you, so far this is the most amount of viewers I've actually had. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Like, Good. I've actually gotten up, well, so far it's up to five, but you know how it is. Oh, there's other, other, uh... Yeah, dude, no, yeah, for, yeah, I like turtles, yeah. Portland original right there. Okay, also, uh, it'll do a thing after we damage them enough, it'll start, like, it'll, like, screw, screw back to run you over. If you try to jump to dodge it, it's pretty hard. It's better to, like, slide to the back corner and then try to just avoid it sliding around, like, this it's gonna yeah now is when you want to hit him and jump and avoid that don't do what i did <laughs> yeah i jump into them a lot too it's hard. now he's gonna go blah, try to mace and then he's gonna sh they're gonna ride back at, yep shoot and then now they're gonna run back at where yep this thing oh shit it's very hard to avoid <laughs> yep especially if i'm already back there shit shit Oh. Solid. Oh, gun. Shit. Oh, I can get it in time. Now I can, but that's gonna run you up. You gotta move right away. Oh. Yeah, yeah can, like that. Can you it's really die? hard. It's very hard and frustrating. Okay, there we go. I can see why it's very frustrating. Oh, fuck. I didn't do it again. The, the timing is eight. Yep. That sounds like- oh shit, I got my ass on I have more lives, it's cool, but... That sounds like fucking Fox or the- HIYA! Sounds like Fox in fucking uh, Smash Brothers and Melee and stuff. Ah, uh, no wrong button! It's fine, I got lives. I don't have extra lives because I have a higher level of characters than this. Fine. Yeah, now we're evil. Oh. I love being turtle. I love turtles. Almost halfway there, we get back at us now. Twice? Yep, now he's gonna come back at us. Fuck. Run into it, Johnny. Shit on! Now he's gonna come back at us again. Oh! I hate that shit. I keep trying to just dodge them and hit him so I get fucking whoop. Yeah, can can he not? Jeez. It's on! Deep come back at us again. Oh, gun. Second gun probably. Yep. Now they're gonna try to run us over again. Can they not? It's almost dead. Hey, there we go. You got first go. Woo! Everybody else can play with a couple goes. Good job. Fuck. Like yeah. Gosh, I that was absolutely. Wow. Interesting. Like I don't even know what all the yeah. exactly to say, but that was interesting. Like a it's a do, complete sure. category on its own. Yeah. It's fun. I mean, that's a typical vehicle that, like, Shinobi 3 is that fucking one where you're surfing on goddamn fucking a piece of, of metal, like, sheet metal in off a thing fighting ninjas, and it's like, what? The vehicle levels be, like, in old games, man. I got time for one more, it looks like, probably. Bop, 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 bop. This is a fun one. This game is fun, though, huh? It's a really, yeah, it it's is really, really well fun. Like, it's not easy. Good thing. I literally... Oh, the fuck, I fell down a hole. Oh, I just roll in a different guy. Already so. then. I thought you were going to make a whole reference to when I was on that skateboard, but okay then. <laughs>
No, I was no that guy just fell down a hole. That's all. Yeah, awesome. I saw that. I thought you were gonna make a reference to on the road back there. No, when you fell. Yeah. Yeah. No, no you, you, we saw. It's cool. You good? It happens. The best of us is fine. Must be nice to sit around and do that. <laughs> Every foot. Hey then! So it's like, was playing 52 picked up my end again. The guy's just trying to eat a popsicle and we're like beating him up. <laughs> Poor guys. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't help that they were part of the um, group, so. Sounds like Fox, though. Hi, yeah. Sounds like Fox and Smash for sure. Yeah, juggled BH. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> no! Party dudes! What is the deep breath? The met, that's the fucking taunt, so it gives you specials. No, I, oh, I know, shit. I'm being sarcastic. Oh, oh, what's the Oh, that. Yeah. I was like, what is breathing earlier, too? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh! Is anytime I don't know what breathing is, because I'm always like. Busy. <laughs> we just held him there and just beat the crap out of him. Oh, hold on. Nice. The team up bounce, I love it. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! I love it. Some of these noises are. Cracking me up. Um, hello? Yeah, it's really hard to dodge that. Damn it, it's really hard to dodge that one. Hello is Ray. Right. Yeah, it's one of those for sure. Watch out. Whoop. Anything else you should be aware of, Don? Uh, there's gonna be more of these little robot bastards and guys a lot. I don't know. Guys, you're gonna fight. I don't. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't know. Give me a fair warning. I did you hit it. It was already hit. I was going in to hit it. I was just like, watch out for yourself. I gotta uh, rescue you. Uh, don't you hit me yet, you little bitch. No there we go. Problem. Shit's on. Sit down. Hey, yo! Hi! Bye bye. Oh yeah. Oh, this thing is a thing. I don't know how to get around that. So I get sh that shit on back. These monkeys will throw shit at you too. They're mean. Oh great. They just do that. I discovered that last time. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. See, they're trying to chuck shit at us, little bastards. Hop. You like? Sus. Oh shit, I never ran out Nice try, bitch. Oh, I will fucking help you once I- Wait, 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 Sure, lay down. after I do that, quote unquote, deep breath, that's why I just get no freaking hit. Freaking get freaking around. There's health for both of us now. Bye bye, bitches! Oh, you little bitch. Back here. Stop grabbing me! No consent! Fuck! Oh, wait, wait, gotta break that. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. What's that? 
You can I dodge don't... wall through that stuff too. Okay, here's the, this is a boss fight now too. It's gonna be annoying. Mm. So one of them's gonna make holes you can fall into. This other one is gonna just charge at us. We have to just jump over him basically. Ground chuck and dirt bag. Yeah. Ground chuck and dirt bag. He's gonna go underground once we hurt him a bit. The other one's gonna charge at us like full style, of course. Yeah, they just get annoying more or less. As soon as that one starts moving to charge, he just he'll keep going off the. Whoop! I went down the hole through the corners and stuff for a while. I, whoop, hello? Hit bitches. Oh my gosh, it just keeps pausing me back in there. Oh shit. I get my ass kicked. Oh. I'm just frozen standing, knocked out for a second. Oh wait, now I'm back, what the fuck? And now I'm back again, oh it's a stun. Oh, it's that one. No, now you're down, I can't, what? What? I was hearing it, but I didn't have an option to revive you. That was weird. Shit. You're gonna get blown up dormant, oh, yep. I <laughs> like that, the hole opened up right underneath. I'll be sus. Go again and do this and that. You did, bitch. Did you stop the freaking flashlight? Yeah, he's out now. Now there's just this one. There we go. Woo! Finally. Yeah. Well, if it's cool, this might be the last one for me. I'm gonna get dinner and stuff soon. Alright. That's cool. That, that's absolutely cool. Absolutely. Thank you. Away, this has been fun. Dude, this hey, game is fucking wicked though, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's... And thank you for coming out, John. This is an yeah, absolutely dude. an honor having you on my show. Aw. Because you have no idea how hard it was trying to get people to even try to come out. Yeah, well, it's a new thing, and it's like, that's a lot, you know, it's a lot to, to work through. But no, I'm happy to fucking... Yeah, it was the a true honor for you to come out, though. So really. Yeah, dude. Well, sick. Well, thank you for having me. And yeah, it went not, really well for anything, not a problem, for sure. Johnny. It's, it's literally, I but, had more fun than it, when it was Street Punk and I. <laughs> like an episode ago, which is actually out my YouTube. Nice. There's well, like yeah, so dude. many bloopers in there. Like, I'm like, you know what? Screw this, I'm just gonna leave it in there. Like, yeah, dude, that's what it's about. The learning process and stuff, it's yeah. fun. You're getting it all dialed in. Well, hell yeah, well, thank you for having me. And, uh, yeah. I guess I will see you on Orbit's third podcast. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like with the, the episode three, well, next month, yeah. Yeah. With and otherwise, people can catch me typically is, um... It's Fridays and Saturdays, and to, um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays on my channel, so. Four days a week. Woo. All right. Well, I might try and uh, get on your streams more, John, so. Good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye. I'll see you later, Johnny. Alrighty, everybody. That was Johnny. If you wanted to check her out, I will actually put her Twitch out in the comments but she is like one of the most chilled layback people i've ever met so it's i'm not going to complain yay so my bot is now not working so I will put a link below for good old Johnny. As soon as I can find Johnny's Twitch. Alrighty, guys. I just posted Johnny's in the All comments right guys, below. I just posted Johnny's in the
comments below. Oh my gosh, Johnny, thank you for hosting me. This makes me feel so happy. Ugh. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you on the next one. I have my new schedule posted down below, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and hopefully you'll see it on YouTube, which is the same exact thing. Red Hawk 1933. And I will see you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful night.